Coast Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates. Warm and humid weather, that's going to be the story for the rest of the week, and we're still getting some scattered showers tonight. We'll carry some of this stuff into the evening hours, but most of it is expected to clear out by tomorrow morning before more showers roll in for tomorrow afternoon. So let's go back over to live Viper radar. As I'm sweeping it for you, you can see in live mode that we're getting some lightly scattered showers from Power County all the way into the southeastern corner of the state, even some spritzes in western Wyoming there for Afton and the Star Valley. Uh, what we also have here is some fairly uh, potent thunderstorm activity that's beginning to finally wind down as this stuff passes over craters of the moon. It's moving into the southwesterly direction into Blaine County and further into the upper Magic Valley. So it's just passing to the south of Ketchum and it's going to be moving over Haley right now. We've had some uh, good lightning with that storm there over craters, and we're still left with a few sprinkles around Mackey and Arco at this hour. And also some weak showers at the moment from Jefferson County stretching into Fremont County, getting right to the north of the sand dunes there. Had some heavy rain earlier tonight in Island Park, and this pattern, like I mentioned, is continuing. But there is some dry spots here in the forecast. So this big ridge of high pressure, it's over the four corners. And you can see the moisture has been rotating around that ridge of high, that monsoonal energy, that subtropical moisture. And it's going all the way towards Canada. I mean, they've been seeing this stuff throughout the Intermountain West, all throughout the Great Basin, and even flooding reports, of course, with some of this heavier rain that's been happening in Salt Lake. They had some localized street flooding there in Salt Lake City. Notice the dry spot here in around southern Nevada, southern Utah. That dry spot's coming in tonight for eastern Idaho. Then more of this moisture is going to rotate back in as we get into tomorrow afternoon. So let's go to the Vipercast. So tonight around 10 o'clock, still looking at those scattered showers, southeastern corner of the state, central Idaho here, will begin to dry out, clear out just a touch here. When I say dry out, we're not going to lose the humidity. No, you'll still feel the humidity tomorrow morning, but we're going to lose a lot of the shower action for tonight and tomorrow, except for western Wyoming, still could wake up with a few sprinkles tomorrow morning and also in southeastern Idaho. So for tomorrow morning, you're going to feel the humidity as you step outside. Then we get a little bit of that daytime heating. Thunderstorms will really start to develop, and that's going to be happening especially into the high country. Some pretty intense storms possible also out towards Sun Valley, moving into Custer County. We're also going to be looking at mostly uh, cloudy conditions and scattered showers into the southeastern and eastern highlands. Tomorrow night around 8 o'clock, still stuck with this stuff. Scattered showers even after the sun sets. Then we get into the same scenario for Thursday. Thursday morning's pretty calm, but humid. You're going to feel the heaviness in the air for Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon pops with scattered thunder showers. Now we're getting into Friday. Friday morning pretty calm, but then by Friday afternoon, yeah, more thunder showers as the map just explodes with more green here, especially into the mountains with a few passing thunder showers in the Snake River Plain. Lows tonight back to the mid 40s for Stanley, mid 50s in Salmon, mid 50s also in Arco at the site. We're called at the mid 50s tonight for Rigby and Idaho Falls, mid to upper 40s for Jackson, mid 40s in Island Park, and just shy of 60 for Pocatello and American Falls, mid 50s for Lava Hot Springs, and the mid 50s for Preston, mid 40s in Star Valley. And highs tomorrow. Tomorrow will be warmer. We're going to work on more sunshine for tomorrow, and that's definitely going to propel our temperatures northward. So we're going to see warmer conditions tomorrow, but you're still going to be stuck with the humidity at temperatures around 85 for Pocatello, 83 for Blackfoot, 83 in Idaho Falls. We're hitting 82 for Rigby, 79 for Rexburg, 83 in Dubois, around 76 in Island Park, 76 also for West Yellowstone, and it's going to be a hot one in Salmon at 90. Let's get to the eight day. Now, we need the moisture, but we're going to get plagued with the moisture here. Scattered showers here all the way through the next week. There is a break in the pattern on Saturday and a high of 88 for Idaho Falls, but you're still looking at the humidity. We're still looking at the same weather pattern as we get into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So we're going to keep temperatures warming back closer to 90 for the weekend with that break on Saturday. Pocatello, mid to upper 80s as we head to the next couple of days with 88 on Thursday, 90s over the weekend. It's going to be hot Saturday and Sunday with scattered thunderstorms into next week as well. Rexburg also looks Looking to see warmer temperatures by Saturday and Sunday. 86 for Saturday, upper 80s on Sunday with scattered thunderstorms into next week. Blackfoot, we're looking at some scattered thunderstorms through Friday. Highs near 90 for Thursday. And we're going to be hot for the weekend with partly cloudy conditions on Saturday with thunderstorms into next week. Jackson, you're also looking at more thunderstorms as we get into the next few days here. Mid to upper 70s with around 80 on Sunday. Scattered thunderstorms into next week. We'll take a look here at Island Park real quick. 70s as we head to the next couple of days, Saturday and Sunday with highs around 77 for Saturday, 79 on Sunday, and it's going to be hot in Salmon with the thunderstorms all throughout the rest of the week. Jay Carroll. Thanks, Michael. Hey, are you in the mood for a little happy news tonight? I am. All right. Well, later on Newsline, the three-year-old golf phenom